I wanted to show you something. Um, I posted artifacts online before made from bone, including a knife shaped similarly in a way to this one that I thought was probably a knife made from bone. But um, fossil bone, and this is fossil bone. It's extremely heavy. It's much denser feeling than, than um, regular bone. And it also was a relatively thick uh, piece of cortical bone. What's interesting about it is that um, it doesn't really resemble normal fossil bone from the area in which it was found. It's uh, denser. It's a different color a little bit and the texture and preservation of it is a little bit different. And what's interesting is this inner part of it, the outer part is, is, is this is cortical, this is the outside of surface of bone, and normally that's like a laminated layered type uh, sort of dense bone. And then inside on bone, usually you have a little spongy mass. Well, I can show you right over here on this bone. That's a big piece of mammoth bone. Um, you have a spongy mass of, uh, cancellous bone, what I call it, or trabecular bone, and all that in this is missing as if it has been scraped away. You can see little vestiges of it right there, but it looks like it's all been cleaned off or scraped away, which normally doesn't occur. We normally don't find stuff like that, uh, but at any rate, so when I started examining this, I'm like, well, you know, these spiral type fractures don't occur normally on on old bone, on fossil bone, it, it's it's a green stick kind of fracture that's more found on on new bone, uh, but this is somewhat mineralized. But here's the interesting part. So I'm looking at it, looking at it, and I and I and I get up close to it, and you can see all this flake in here. This has been flaked. This is a sharpened edge. It's a knife edge. And hopefully you can see that there's flakes taken off of both sides of it, very obviously so. This is not from bumping against other things in nature or anything like that. You also can see how this whole edge was treated and brought down. Um, and an opposite bevel from this one. And then on the back end, and there's a couple of places where there's uh, like dings, like they were trying to take flakes off of it along in here, but it was separating along the, the laminations, and so they weren't able to get it really flaked along there. But then on this end, it almost looks uh, ground down towards a, towards a point, and then there's almost looks like used to wear damage or something on this. But another thing that's very interesting is there's a really sharpened area on this right there. So I can get this to focus. Right there, it's extremely sharp. So anyway, I found this interesting. You know, I won't get into the chronology of, of well, gee, did it get petrified. I mean, it's ext it's going to be extinct megafauna probably, but uh, I'm not going to venture a guess as to what species, and I'm also not going to venture a guess as to whether or not the flaking occurred contemporaneously with it. But again, the, the way that these fractures are, the way that it was broken off, pointed at both ends and, you know, the opposite side bevels and all this kind of stuff, and then the flaking of it is just totally cool. So anyway, thought I'd video it and talk about it a little bit. Thanks for watching. Bye.